there, free trial user. I'm here to welcome you to your new favorite tool for creating, tracking, and closing proposals and quotes. In case you couldn't tell, you're now working with a very powerful business tool that also has an adorable name. In this video, you'll learn how to generate your first proposal or quote, track and monitor your deals, and automate these steps so you and your team can collect e-signatures and payments from customers in a super efficient, consistent, and secure way. This video was broken up into multiple chapters, so if you'd like to skip ahead to a specific part, then go right on ahead. All right, let's log into PandaDoc and get started. The first thing you'll want to do with your free trial of PandaDoc is create a template. I know, I know, templates sound boring and like a lot of work, but I pinky promise that if you take just five minutes to do this right now, you'll never have to do it again. And it'll save you and your sales reps tons of time while avoiding silly mistakes later on. Future you will be so glad you built a template. Okay, let's create one from scratch so you can see everything in action. Start by clicking here on the blank template icon. Then go ahead and name your template. Next, we need to add template roles as placeholders for future recipients and senders. Go to the Manage button up top and you'll see the roles menu appear on the right-hand side. The client role was automatically created by PandaDoc but you'll want to add another role for the person who's sending it. Let's stop for a moment to mention a cool little feature you might want to enable, which is Suggest Edits. This allows you to give your prospects the option to collaborate on a proposal right inside of PandaDoc. This is huge for avoiding all those little back and forths from multiple revisions of PDFs that get lost inside of email chains. You can also allow the recipient to resolve suggestions to get things approved even faster. This level of collaboration avoids major roadblocks that used to slow down your sales cycle. Whether you're creating a template or a document, the PandaDoc editor is going to revolutionize your document generation process. Take a look here at how the editor has all sorts of blocks on the right-hand side, like text, images, videos, tables, quote builder, table of contents, page break, smart content, and more. We're proud to say that this ain't your grandparents' document editor from the old days. Now, let's get you dragging and dropping blocks like a pro. We can start with the cover page. Find the plus icon here and select cover page. If you want this cover page to be a bit more eye-catching, you can add a background image. Just upload an image from your computer, Google Drive, Dropbox, or wherever. Next, you can upload a logo, change the title, and add a variable. Variables are an absolute game changer. They are placeholders for information that changes from document to document. A variable automatically populates from your contact list, CRM, or document settings. Remember how this template is a master copy for future documents? Well, variables help you speed up personalized document creation and avoid critical typos. How neat is that? Now, grab whatever variables you want from the list on the right by clicking the copy icon and pasting it into your text block. Then we'll add the client, company, and create date. There's lots you can do with variables, and if you'd like to learn more, click the link to visit our Help Center guide. The cover page is done. Whew. Okay, let's keep moving. Hit the plus icon to create a new page below. Now drag and drop some more content blocks into the blank page. We'll start with some text blocks to introduce ourselves to our recipient and then add some images. As you add multiple blocks, they will be positioned relative to each other, using a grid-like system to align blocks around each other. You can easily duplicate, move, delete, undo, and edit properties such as the background color, padding, margins, and more. Whether you're building out a proposal, quote, or contract, you might want to check out the PandaDoc template library to see exactly what pages to include in your own template. Click the link to see what makes the most sense for your business and use case. You're already getting the hang of editor and I'm so proud of you. Don't stop now. 
Now's the time to build out a pricing page. Let's start by creating a new page. Then hover over the blue line that appears when you move your cursor. Select the pricing table from the dropdown that appears. Voila! You've got a brand new pricing table that's ready to be fully customized, rearranged, and or expanded. When you add a pricing table, it's automatically set up to pull products from a CRM like Salesforce, HubSpot, or Zendesk. But if you're not using a CRM, you can turn this off. For example, if you click this drop-down arrow inside the cell, you have the ability to enable optional items so recipients can choose whether they want that product or not. They can also toggle the quantity. Your customers now have interactive pricing tables and they don't have to call or email you to change the pricing. Boom, time saved. If you need even more pricing customization, control, and better layouts to showcase some complex product and pricing offers, then check out this video on advanced quotes. Advanced quotes open up a whole new frontier for growing businesses that have more complex pricing structures and or billing frequencies. Ready to add fillable fields to your document? Fillable fields are the blocks that your prospects can complete once you've sent your document to them. Think of things like signature blocks, dates, initials, checkboxes, radio buttons, drop downs, and more. Wow. Your recipients will never have to print, sign by hand, scan, and email back a document when they work with you. And they will thank the heavens you use PandaDoc. After you decide what fillable fields you want, just drag and drop them in. Assign the corresponding fields to your recipient and you, the sender, if necessary. Another huge time saver feature is the ability to set up automatic expiration dates, reminders, and renewals at the template level. That way, when you create a document and hit send, all of these automations are happening without you lifting a finger. Now that your template is set up, you're ready to send and track your document. Select the Use This Template button in the top right corner. Assign your recipients to the roles you created earlier and add in their information. Hit Continue. You'll want to first make sure the variables are filled in correctly and the fields are assigned to the correct role. Remember that pricing table you built? Well, now is your chance to add products and customize amounts and enable optional items too. Scroll through and make sure everything looks good. Once you're ready to send, decide if you'd prefer to send it via email, via a unique link, or in person. If you send via email, you want to make sure you update the name of your document that's more specific to your recipient. Write a short message to the recipient, then hit send. Now the document is in sent mode, and the status will change when your recipient opens and interacts with the document. On the right-hand side, you can take a look at your document analytics and look at things like number of times viewed, total time spent viewing, when it was last viewed, and page insights to see where they spent the most or least time. Let's stop for a moment to emphasize why this tracking matters. These proposal analytics let you observe your prospect's engagement levels to make sure you take the right steps. Are they engaged? Are they stuck on a certain page? Or are they completely ignoring you? And when you receive automated notifications, the moment your document open and completed, you'll know exactly when and how to follow up. Now, if you're wondering what your recipient sees when they open the document, well, here's what it looks like. They can scroll through the document, interact with the pricing table, and then sign. Once signed by all parties, the status changes to completed. And finally, if you want to check to see what proposals have or haven't been completed by your customers, you can find them here on your PandaDoc home screen. So the last part of this free trial journey is to talk about your tech stack. Depending on what tools you're already using for your business, chances are we have native integration to connect them and make your workflow smooth like butter. If you're trying to connect a CRM like Salesforce, HubSpot, or one of the many other options, take a look at our comprehensive list and see how you can start mapping products to pricing tables automatically. 
Shoop, you can even build documents right here from inside the CRM interfaces without ever changing to a different browser tab. We also have options for processing payments so you can quote, bill, and collect all at once. If you're using Square, Stripe, QuickBooks, Authorize.net, or one of the many other options we connect with, learn more about how to set up one-time or recurring charges. The world is your Panda Oyster here. We've got you covered with integrations to Slack, Microsoft Office and Teams, Zoom, and tons more. To see the full list, click here and figure out how to connect the tools you love with PandaDoc. Well, folks, there you have it. You've now cleared the hardest hurdles and are ready to create, send, track, and complete some customer proposals and quotes. We know that the most important part of using PandaDoc is making sure it's easy for you, your team, and your customers to start using right away. Be sure to check out our Help Center and community forums or reach out to our 24-7 chat support team to get help right away. Now, let's give you a big panda round of applause for making it through this entire video.